Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the Windows Update Error 0x8000-4002 on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, now in here click on System on the left pane, and then on the right side scroll down until you find the Troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now click on Other Troubleshooters and afterwards click on the Run button next to Windows Update. Windows will now try to detect any problems and if you have any, it will restart your computer and fix them as soon as possible. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update your drivers. To do so, right click the Windows button then select Device Manager from the list of options. Now in here, in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand any problematic device, let's say we'll do the display adapters, right click on the device that has the issue, then select the Update Driver option. Now in here, click on Search Automatically for Drivers, and Windows will try to fix the issue and update your drivers from the existing available drivers on your PC. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Next in line, you can also perform an SFC and DISM scan. To do this, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, copy-paste the following commands that I posted in the description below, but copy each command one by one, press enter after each command, so forth and so on until the process is finished. But note that the scans can take a bit of time, so don't lose your patience. Afterwards, just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to restart the Windows Update service. To do this, press the Windows button, type in Services, then select it as an application from the search results. Now in here, scroll way down until you find the Windows Update service, right-click on it and select the Restart option. You can also double-click on the service, click on the Stop button to stop the service, and then click on the Start button to, of course, start the service. Next to Startup Type, you also have a drop-down menu which shows you a few options. You should have selected the Automatic option, then click on apply on OK to save the changes, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.